The Winter Soldier and Cloning Lab Omega level threat. Yeah, what? Okay, uh, level hit Marvel's Avengers later this month. They're still doing updates to this game. I thought it was like it that it was dead. It had been abandoned. I hadn't heard anything about it, except I think they brought... Didn't they bring Black Panther? They brought like Spider-Man and Black Panther to it, I think. But they're still bringing stuff to the game. Are people playing it? That's what I'm asking. Like, who's playing the game and who's sending the money? Because they're still working on it. So either it's just like they're in this deeply committed, uh, I guess, entrenched point where they, they like are contractually obligated to do it. I don't know. This Omega level thread is a new endgame challenge headlined by climactic confrontation with a deranged genius to end the danger once and for all. Okay. Uh, the lab is challenging aim base that players will navigate before. Okay. I mean, honestly, like moments like this, the game looks pretty, pretty good. Like it's cinematic. It's flashy. It doesn't look bad there. Uh, I think it's just really unfortunate because the game never felt like it really came together. It felt very disjointed and it felt like five games stitched together. Just honestly, exactly like Gotham Knights, where it feels like a live service game that was converted into a mobile game and then it was converted back into a console game. And so there's all sorts of weird remnants of development all over the place. Kind of feels the same with this, where it's like they really wanted a live service multiplayer co-op thing going but it was designed in the same basic outline as like anthem and it just didn't work and the levels were really narrow and the in an age when everything is like huge open world levels i don't know it's it's tricky when you give players a like the ability to fly and then you stick them in a small arena it just feels wrong. It's like giving your kid the keys to a Lamborghini and being like, yeah, you know, you can drive this all around but don't leave the garage. It's like, uh, oh, I know Lamborghini was a weird choice. Maybe just the car. You give your 16-year-old kid the keys to the car for the first time ever. And like, yeah, have fun driving, but don't leave the garage. <laughs> it's like, uh, so I can't, you mean I can't drive it? Like, you gave me this thing, but I can't use it for anything. Okay, I, I got you. Yeah, I, all of this, to, to just get back to it, the studio will, will reveal more about Update 2.7, including Winter Soldier's backstory, first look at Cloning Lab, and a uh, bunch of um, outfit reveals. And they're launching it on November 29th, which is a thing. Uh, dude, it launched September 4th of 2020. Why does that feel like an eternity ago? It wasn't that long ago. But then again, it was also over two years ago. It both feels like forever ago and like yesterday. You know, but anyway, I'm going to be doing an I tried video where I go back and I try this game again because apparently they're getting a ton of support. But knowing now that they're doing something on November 29th. Yeah, Game Informer gave it an 8.75. Like, so when I tried it, I didn't think it was a bad game. Like, it wasn't bad in the same way. Like, I think a lot of the design elements in Gotham Knights are bad. I think rather here, like, there's just so much that's lackluster and bland and meh. Like, I, I remember trying to play it and just being, like, actually bored out of my mind. I just wasn't interested in it. And whether that's combat issues, whether that's the story, whether that's the acting, I don't it could be a combination of all of it. But when your game isn't fun, there's just, like, it has no hope. And for me, I just didn't find it fun. And so I think you could, I could see people being able to, like, connect with it if they connected with it and found it fun. I could really, you know, decently see a, an 8 or an 8.5 um, if you were one of the few people that really connected with it. I just didn't think it was fun. Popular with young teens? Maybe. I mean, if they're still developing stuff for it, if they're still doing DLCs and expansions and stuff, somebody's playing it. You want to play this multiplayer? Uh, I mean, yeah, we could we could do that. I, I think I have it on PlayStation, I think, is where I bought it. Um, and I don't think it's cross-plat. But if you have it on play, uh, PlayStation, then we'd probably do that. 